There is a new airdrop in town. It is Rainbow Wallet. In this video, I'm going to break down what it is, how you can do it, a tutorial. Um, down below, there are chapters so you can fast forward to the sections that you want to get to the place that you want easier. Also, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own research before moving in on the crypto or NFT space. Now, first up, we're going to cover what Rainbow is. If you just want to get straight to the tutorial, use the uh, sort of timestamps down below. So if you have a look at their account on X, welcome to Rainbow Points, the first step towards including our community in the future success of Rainbow. Every Ethereum user has been dropped points today. Claim your points and start earning more by doing the things you do on chain. And basically, if you follow the thread, it kind of goes on and breaks down what it is. And you can see a little bit of a dig here um, about MetaMask. They are essentially trying to take MetaMask's share um, because they're letting you import a MetaMask wallet into Rainbow, and then this will give you additional points. So how can you start to farm the airdrop? I would head to their um, sort of Twitter or X account and then hit the link here. This will take you through to their official website to download the extension. I'd follow the official links and make sure you're following the right accounts. Otherwise, you may end up on a phishing site or a scam site because that's just what's going to happen in these space. It's absolutely crazy. First thing you're going to do is download the extension. You could go through and download on the mobile, but I'm going to show you how to do it on desktop. It'll be very similar on the mobile and we're going to do chrome now what this will then do is this will take you to the chrome store and you can see here add to chrome i'll click this add extension now this will take time to kind of essentially go through and pop up now some of this might not show up on the screen because of the way the screen capture is set up now what we're going to do is we're going to import or connect a wallet and then you can go through here now the reason i would suggest importing a wallet if you feel comfortable and you've got a hot wallet that you trade with say metamask this will give you additional points later on um, if you don't want to do this you can just set up a brand new wallet and run through um, which a lot of people will be doing to get additional points but this is just a way to kind of farm more points and essentially get more for the airdrop then go through here so what i've done is i've actually put in my private key on one of my burner accounts so i didn't use the passphrase i used the private key and after i punched in the password i then get here rainbow is ready to use and this is the hot key to bring up rainbow what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to pin rainbow to the um top and once you've imported your wallet, here is where you go. So up the top, you will see your pinned uh, sort of rainbow wallet, and then it will populate here. So this is uh, my burner account. And then what you can go to here is the umbrella section, which basically means airdrop. What you can then do is go get started. Now, there are referral codes if you want to refer people, which will then get you more points. This is part of like the Ponzi nomics, referral nomics that we see in a lot of airdrops. What you do is you hit get started. You're then going to sign the wallet access granted now it is going to go through and calculate um, sort of points activity action that you have used within that wallet on something like metamask and i have 133 points now note that this is my burner wallet this is where a lot of trash goes so i haven't done many swaps on this wallet you then hit continue and then here is my referral link if i put out a tweet i will then get 250 points and you'll earn 10 percent for anyone that you then refer so what i'll then do here is i will hit share on x I like to change the text up a little bit. What I'll do is I will hit post. What you can then do is then head back to uh, Rainbow Wallet and then you can see how you're going. Now, right now the points are a little bit off so they might not populate straight away and you can see all of your um, links right here. And as you can see, look, I'm not gonna cover it up. You can see this referral code. If someone out there wants this referral code, 100%, you can take it um, for first come first serve. Um, and then you can see who is here on the leaderboard. You can see there's 99,000 people on the leaderboard right now. So now that this is set up, how can you farm for points? What you can then do is you can then do some swaps and you can actively engage and trade. So we can take Ethereum. What we can do is we can swap the Ethereum for um, something like, uh, we'll go wrapped Ethereum. So we'll go wrapped Ether and we'll go 
0.05 and then we review. Now it says that the estimated fee is going to be $3 within 12 seconds. Now, the reason I'm not going to do this is I'm actually not going to farm on this particular account just because I don't think I'm gonna get the points, I'm gonna farm on another account. Um, be careful because as you can see, the trading of the fee, you'll end up spending sort of three bucks now and then another three bucks back. So you're gonna essentially spend $6 and if you don't think that you're going to get that as a return back, then it makes no sense to actually go ahead and do it. I think the best way to farm this is actively use the wallet instead of MetaMask when you want to make some trades, um, do any DeFi, buy NFTs, sell NFTs, trade. That is the best way to rack up those points because you're doing things that you're already doing and not going out of your way to spend money in the hopes that you'll get it back. Now, the reason that you shouldn't do this, um, and obviously it's not financial advice, you can do what you want, is because we have seen with something like Blur Season 2, a lot of people ended up spending more money thinking they were gonna make a lot more back on the back end with the Blur token and it didn't actually pan out. Now, we don't know how big this could be and you can already see that there is essentially 100,000 people ahead of me. Um, so what do you think my allocation is gonna be? So being careful about what you're gonna spend, where you're gonna spend it to ensure that you actually get the maximum returns. I think that using the wallet as a main key wallet to send Ethereum to um, and then make some trades, um, swaps, things like that, and then tr send it out, that would be the way that I would do it. And that is the way that I will do this. I will have a wallet that I dedicate to using um, Rainbow to make all my transactions, swaps, etc., to maximize that airdrop. But I'm not gonna go over the top and go too hard. For me, this is a hedge on what is actually happening for the airdrop. I'm not a hardcore airdrop farmer, so I'm not going um, all out and spending a lot of money on this. I want to um, get some of the airdrop, but I don't wanna spend all of my time, money and resources on the airdrop just in case it lets me down. Now, when it comes to Rainbow, I actually do think they are pushing the envelope. I think Phantom is a great wallet for um, Solana and it's dabbling in Ethereum. And I can see Rainbow Wallet trying to be a little bit more at the forefront when it comes to a mobile first wallet and a wallet that is safe. Some of the features that they have are the ability to process the transactions in an easier way for you to see. What I mean by that is essentially this. What it does is it will tell you what's leaving and what's going through, which should help on wallet drainers. There are plugins like Pocket Universe, which I highly suggest using, but the idea here is you can see what's going in, what's going out, and it breaks down all of the um, smart contract into a very simple, easy to read format, um, which is good and it helps out the user and it helps out the consumer um, from getting rugged or drained. Um, I also think it's a step forward in pushing a better user interface because moving into the next cycle of the run, if we want more adoption, we want more people buying and trading NFTs, we want more people on um, sort of DeFi platforms, we need wallets that are easy to use, more user-friendly and have a better UI and UX. So that's where I can see Rainbow actually moving in. I see this as a big marketing stunt to get people to try it. So people then end up liking using it, which then means that they usually will stay because it is a better experience if you've ever used Phantom, you'll know that it is a better experience and you should just stick around and use it. And you can see exactly right here, they've even have NFT integration in a much sort of better, cleaner way, something you would see with a better wallet. So you can see all of the traits, things like that, they're, they're pulling directly from the blockchain. So they really are going hard with a high quality wallet that fits the user, especially going into an age of digital, digital ownerships and digital assets. Now, I guess it gets to the boring part, which is the security. I would not be using a hot wallet that has a lot of Ethereum or valuable NFTs in it and importing that wallet. Doing so will compromise that wallet just because you will be pulling out that um, recovery phrase, pulling out that um, sort of private key. It, it can just lead to issues. And if for some reason your sort of device is compromised, that could be an issue and you don't want that for the potential for an airdrop that won't make up for it. This makes sense to do on a new wallet to um, have the potential to get a big airdrop, but doing the transactions in a very isolated way. In Web3, you want to try to segregate as much as you can, otherwise you could end up clicking a wrong link and doing something bad. 
I wouldn't go out of my way to try to collate existing mullets to maximize the points just because it is dangerous and I feel like there's, the risk reward is more on the risky side than the reward side. Now, what does this overall mean for MetaMask? This is Rainbow trying to put the nail in the coffin of MetaMask. I don't think it's gonna succeed, but it's a good way to take a big market share. A lot of um, sort of MetaMask users almost see this as a way as a kick up the bum for MetaMask to get together and just drop a dollar sign mask. That's what everyone, everyone wants. Everyone wants a MetaMask token. Everyone wants um, that because everyone's used MetaMask. There's so much activity, so much action, so many swaps. Um, and a lot of people are actively using MetaMask in a way, doing some swaps to try to build up for an airdrop if that actually happens. I don't think that will happen in the short term. I think MetaMask will need to have its back to the wall before they drop a token. But if they did, it would absolutely rip and absolutely kill it. So that is a look at Rainbow Wallet, how to get set up, a bit of a tutorial, some of the tips and tricks to maximize the airdrop that you could potentially get and some ways to stay safe. If you enjoyed this video, go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Let me know what you're doing with this and what your strategy is when it comes to Rainbow. I had a pleasure making this video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it. And as always, I will see you in the next video.